Hi study buddies! So today I'm filming a video outside my study with me series. I hope you guys enjoy it. This is five ways I prepare for the next semester online. I think we can all agree that this year was super different and it kind of sucked for a lot of us. A lot of us lost our jobs and had really tough years. But 2021 is right around the corner and as students, I feel like we should prepare for it. So I'm gonna give you guys five ways on how I prepare for the new semester. <laughs> Okay, so firstly, I write down my goals. Now I know this is very cliche and all that, but by writing down your goals, you honestly remember what you're trying to achieve this year. I like doing this somewhere that I know that I will be looking at constantly or keeping it in front of me throughout the years just because I know that if I don't look at these goals, then I'm gonna forget what I am trying to achieve and my purpose for motivation will be lost. And it is actually scientifically proven that you are more likely to achieve your goals after you write them down. So I promise you this works. I know for a lot of people, you might be like, hey, this never worked in the past. But if you don't look at the goals throughout the years, it might wear off. So I like having student goals, personal goals, and any other goals that I have really. If I'm in sports, I like putting those goals. Just every section of my life needs goals so I can improve the next year. Okay, so the second thing I do to prepare for the next year is sell my textbooks. So this one's more so for university students, but if you did buy books for high school, you can also use it for that. I highly recommend selling your textbooks right when the semester ends because it's a depreciative asset and new additions constantly come out. If you guys want a video on how I sell my textbooks each year, just comment below and I'll make one. The next thing I do is I throw out all of my papers from the previous semester. This will not only help you organize your stuff, but it's really nice having half the amount of papers at the end of the year and not going through the whole year's papers. And if you haven't used them from the backside, like if there's no ink or writing on the backside, you can actually use the backside of your papers to write anything. So like I, for instance, write my to-do lists every day on the back of these because it's like I don't have to use a diary or a journal or anything to write my to-do list and I feel like I'm kind of saving paper in a way. Along with that, I also get rid of all of the stuff on my laptop. Now this takes me much longer than the actual physical copies just because I have lots of downloads, lots of essays, lots of papers because obviously the semester was online so I feel like we have more junk on our computers than physical copies these days. Look at that satisfying thing of emptying your trash bin once you're done. I love that feeling. It honestly feels like you've conquered so much. <laughs> okay, lastly, I make a routine. Now, a lot of people say, again, this is a cliche thing, but it honestly helps so much. And if you haven't tried it, then you really don't know how it feels. So with online school, I feel like a lot of students felt like they didn't know what to do or they procrastinated more because they didn't have a set routine or schedule. And this honestly really kept me from procrastinating because I knew what I had to do each time. And I would also add breaks and like watch TV shows in between. But this is a really big game changer that I'm carrying into 2021 because it helped me in 2020. If you guys want to know how I made it or anything like that, I would be happy to make how I make my routine video or anything like that and comment below of any other videos you guys want to see. I love you guys so much and thank you for watching. <laughs>